from WTVO 17 and your home team. Eyewitness News in the Morning starts now. Go for it because it's, it's free and it's the best thing that's ever happened. Well, just coming in from overnight, words from the first patient in the UK to receive a vaccine shot this morning. The hospitals that are distributing it and how many doses we can expect to arrive right here in the U.S. And we're just days away from having that vaccine right here in the state line. The major retailer now hiring thousands of workers from coast to coast trying to give out that treatment. I promise you, it'll be the single most diverse cabinet. President-elect Joe Biden continuing to announce more members of his team. The reason some officials are already concerned with some of his picks. Good morning to you. It is 602 right now. Check this out. Have you ever wanted to know what it feels like to be inside a snow globe? Sure, sure. Jim Beam giving you a chance to do that. Maybe you've been wondering this your whole yeah. life. So starting Thursday, the company setting up three massive domes with seating in them and you can have your friends along, a bartender is actually going to be making you drinks inside. You can <laughs> buy that experience. It's under 18 bucks on their website, so actually not too bad. I think there's probably two of these. Bucks. There's yeah. no way this is 18 Maybe bucks. Maybe 18 bucks a person, say, you think? It sounds very cheap. Doesn't and that sound cheap? you yeah. get to bring your own bottle of Jim Beam, guys, so <laughs> BYOB. Yeah, I was going to say, do you bring your own? Yeah, so you yeah. pay separately for that, you get the globe? Yeah, I don't know. I have right. to look more into this. But what the bar, what's the bartender there for? If you already have your own, <laughs> your own stuff, you pour it yourself. I don't yeah. know. Well, good morning to you. Thanks for being with us. I'm Whitney Martin. And I'm Elliot Grandial. Yeah, quick look outside right now, though. Not a lot to look at. Of course, it's not too bright just yet. <laughs> We're getting closer, though, to the uh, longest, or excuse me, shortest, shortest day, day of, the, of year. the year. That's coming up December 21st. Kind of a sad day, honestly, but I look forward to when we get more sunlight after so that. So you like so. the sunlight right now because we go to bed so yeah. early. I like that it's dark. Honestly, it's dark at my son's bedtime. So it's it so different, our sleep schedule yeah. in the winter compared to the summer because I can just not fall asleep in the summer. I hear kids and birds chirping, <laughs> people know. enjoying grilling outside, and we're trying to get to bed. So we're talking about it. I could hear anything outside. There could be fireworks going off, and I am asleep. It doesn't matter. It doesn't I lost matter. that gift I used to have yeah. in college. I was the same way. People could blow an air horn in my <laughs> And I wouldn't wake up. No. Times have changed. A little bit different now. Well, the weather changing too. I want to bring in meteorologist Joy Marino on this right now. This is the best week. I said I'm going to take my son's power wheel out. For yeah. A spin. yeah Not me. <laughs> you want to go for a stroll? <laughs> I might too. I usually hop in too. Yeah. I was going to say, you know, I feel bad for people like Gina who have like a nine to five schedule because right as soon as she gets off yeah. from her shift, the sun is already set. Yeah, I know. So like she's, she's already trying to beat that like last li little inch of light I just know. to take the dogs out for a nice walk, get some energy. <laughs> out um, but that's what she has me for I yeah. just take him out there Aww, in the day. Joey. Good dog dad. Yeah, yeah but you know as you mentioned Whitney it's looking pretty nice this yeah. upcoming work week we're looking at a chilly day today but that's just going to lead to a day in the 50s for tomorrow so definitely so it's worth it. We're just yeah, gotta get through today. Definitely looking forward to that. Let's take a look at current conditions out there uh, this morning. You can see up in Beloit pretty quiet as Elliot mentioned still waiting for that sunrise which is closer to 715 this morning but overall mostly cloudy skies did stick around overnight last night and into this morning. That's led to a slow cool down. We're only at 33 degrees here in Rockford with wind chills down into the upper 20s. So it's definitely going to be one of those mornings where you're going to want to put on an extra layer just to stay warm because those wind chills are likely going to stay in the upper 20s and low 30s into the afternoon. Temperature wise, we're stuck in the 30s once again with westerly to southwesterly winds out there, about 5 to 10 mile per hour winds in all spots across the state line. Now, overall, that cloud cover pretty strong out there. It's holding its own and keeping skies pretty cloudy as we get into the mid morning hours and closer to sunrise this morning. Taking a look at today's planner, it'll be a little bit breezy this afternoon, but overall temperatures do climb back into the low 40s uh, by this afternoon. We may also see a few breaks in the clouds, so maybe squeezing in a few peaks of sunshine uh, before the sun sets later on and staying cloudy into the night tonight. Let's take a look at our first warn interactive radar. Pretty quiet out there this morning. I'll have more on if there's going to be any impacts to your commute coming up in the forecast. Back to you. All right. Thanks. Well, this morning, Rockford police need our help finding suspects after a pair of homes are broken into both happening over the weekend, but we're learning more details about that area. One about 815 on 5th Street, so right near 10th Avenue. Right now we're hearing a homeowner's telling police that a shirtless man 
kicking in that front door, had said he had been shot. Now, the suspects then fought with the people who live there before apparently running away. So take a look at the map. About five minutes later, investigators called to a nearby home on Buckby Street. Homeowners there had a similar encounter. Again, kind of the same story. Suspect ended up running off. Police have not said if these two cases are connected. Basically, if you know something, though, they're just trying to figure out what happened here. Give police a call. I want to get to breaking news right now from overnight. The first doses of COVID-19 vaccine now being given out in the UK. Well, several hospitals handling this in the initial phase of the program is being dubbed V-Day. The first 800,000 doses of that vaccine going to nursing home workers and people over the age of 80 who are either in the hospital or have outpatient appointments already scheduled. Yeah, but most are actually going to have to wait until next year before there is enough time and enough doses to expand this program. Now, pharmacies in our area, they're stepping up once again. The vaccine getting here to the U.S., it's been kind of a bit of a process. So CVS says it wants to hire thousands of employees to help administer those vaccines. The company saying they can actually help with the needed ones actually after the FDA green light comes through, which could take another week or so. Yeah, we're talking about CVS, some other major pharmacies. Mm -hmm. They've entered into a contract with the CDC to be one of those official COVID-19 vaccination program providers to the public. The company says right now it's reviewing. They're fast tracking any applications. They want to fill any open positions as quickly as uh, possible. Excuse me. Jobs available include pharmacists, nurse, physician assistants, even pharmacy interns who are going to be under the supervision of a pharmacist to actually administer that vaccine. Well, looking ahead, IDPH now saying there will be a free COVID-19 testing site set up in Boone County. It's going to happen tomorrow. It'll be at North Boone Fire Protection District 3. That's on West Grove Street in Poplar Grove. That site will be open from 8 until 4 o'clock. Anyone can be tested there regardless of symptoms or immigration status tests. Again, free for anyone who shows up. But if you have a health insurance card, you're going to be asked to bring that with you. Well, another date to add to your calendar. Kind of a big deal right now, too, because of all the cancellations. But we are now once again going to celebrate Old Settlers Day. They announced plans for 2021 main stage. Going to host Granger Smith, opening act Bella Kane. It's on Thursday, June 17th. There's a post on the festival's Facebook page saying the artists hope their music going to remind listeners they are not alone after all the struggles of 2020. I think a lot of people are excited for that. Well, as we approach International Women's Month in March, Eyewitness News wants to recognize the contributions women have made right here in the state line. We need your, your help doing this. We need to find those remarkable women around the state line. So just head to our website. It's mystateline.com. Then go to the Community tab to find that nomination form. We'll select four of the nominees. One has the chance to win the Next Star 2021 Woman of the Year Award during a special ceremony. It's right here in Chicago. So nominations can be submitted through December 20th. And we've had so many great nominations come in from last year. Yeah. I mean, we have just amazing women in our community. So think of somebody you know that's been doing big things. Let us know about that. It was a good problem. We had so many submissions, so yeah. many people to look through. It was awesome just seeing all the contributions everyone's doing right now. All right, time now is 6.09. Michelle from Good Day State Line joining us with an iconic Hollywood duo that may be hitting our screens again. And as we take a look at the almanac from yesterday, we had a high of 40 degrees. We'll have similar conditions for today, and I'll have more on that coming up in the forecast. You're watching Eyewitness News, your home team, with Whitney Martin, Elliot Grandia, and meteorologist Joey Molino.
Now, your first one weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. Snowy scenes coming out of Maine after they had a major nor'easter make their make its way into the region. You can see here Caribou, Maine uh, reporting about 14 inches of snow, and you can just see from the National Weather Service they had a time lapse of all that snow falling over that period of time. We here in the state line have been pretty dry. We haven't seen much snow uh, so far during this fall and winter season. You can just see some of the heavier totals that drop down near Caribou. Maine with this time lapse here from the National Weather Service. But like I said, for the state line, we haven't seen much snow, but there will be a system we need to keep an eye on as we get closer towards the upcoming weekend. Still have a lot to get to with that system as models need to come into alignment. But overall, there, just know that there is a storm system we're watching that could bring some impacts as we head into the upcoming weekend. But pretty quiet out there this morning as we take a live look over uh, Beloit, Wisconsin. We have mostly cloudy skies out there. Temperatures under cloudy skies have been pretty slow to drop. Right now we're sitting at 33 degrees with a light wind out of the west and southwest at six miles per hour. Wind chills down into the upper 20s. So definitely we'll need on that extra layer if you're going to be heading out this morning. 31 in Rochelle, 30 in Freeport, 31 in Sterling, 30 in Galena, and 34 up in Janesville. Now winds, like I said, out of the west and southwest, but nothing too substantial to slow you down this morning. We're looking at dry conditions under that uh, cl cloudy sky, and then we're going to see, as you can see, zooming out here, cloud cover does extend far to our northwest, so that cloud cover is going to stick around for much of the day today. We will see a few breaks in the clouds once we get into the late afternoon. Temperature wise, we'll climb near that 40 degree mark once again. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Joy. I think a lot of us are looking forward to a little bit of a warm up. Yeah. <laughs> but I go back and forth because sometimes I'm like, do I want the snow for Christmas? Just get us in the holidays. You know, spirit. we can wait till Christmas. Just Christmas and just then Christmas it can go. I'm fine with that. Yeah. All right. Well, we have Michelle from Good Day Sailing joining us now. Apparently, an iconic duo. Maybe coming back some movie news for us out of Hollywood right now. Yes, I like this story a lot. <laughs> so one of our favorite acting duos might be working together again soon or sometime this decade. Okay. So on Sunday night, I don't know if you knew about this, but uh, MTV had an award show. So Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore won the Dynamic Duo Award during MTV's Movie and TV Awards Greatest of All Time Special. Love it. <laughs> Did you get all that? Off, uh, <laughs> when they accepted the award, here's what they had to say. Much fun to make a movie with you in every of the last three decades. Yes, yes. And Drew, it's 2020, so you know what that means. Everything sucks. Yeah, that's true. But also, it's, it's a new decade, so we get to make another movie together. Yeah, right. Well, let's wait until we find something amazing. I mean, we do have ten years. Nine years and one month. You're right. Well, that's not enough time. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It has to be special. Yeah. We need to create a duo as iconic as Julia and Robbie, Henry and Lucy, and what were our names in Blended again? I forget. Jack and Jill? No, you did that movie without me. Of course, <laughs> Wedding Singer, 51st States, and then Blended, which I don't really remember I didn't even that realize one. they were in that many <laughs> movies together. So we'll have to see what happens in the next nine years and one month if they make another movie for us. I'm curious. I, I hope they do. I, I, mean, I actually am back some nostalgia. pretty sure that they will. All I right. have a feeling. Thanks so much, Michelle. Time now is 6.15. A Chicago suburb now checking the saliva of its students when they're at school. The process of getting students and staff their results and other districts looking to do something similar. And we heard about something similar right here. A doctors across the country are losing 90 Americans to the virus apparently every hour. The reason the White House saying right now they're turning down an opportunity for more vaccines this winter.
Well, President-elect Joe Biden putting a key Obamacare defender in charge of his health department right now. Plus, the millions of Americans may now have to wait a little bit longer, months longer, actually, to receive a vaccine. The U.S. opting to get fewer doses from Pfizer than we could have. Here's what's making headlines across the nation this morning. Reports saying that Pfizer offering to sell the U.S. government additional doses. This was back in the summer. Uh, Trump administration turning that down. Other countries did buy in. European Union uh, bought enough for 100 million people with an option to buy more. Now, in contrast, U.S. brought uh, enough to only vaccinate about half of that. Now, Pfizer says it may not be able to get the U.S. more doses until June of 2021. White House officials responding to this, saying that they will have enough doses for every American because of vaccines from Moderna. Other companies have come forward. Still unclear, though, whether it's a response to the Pfizer supply issue, but President Trump planning to sign an executive order about the vaccine prioritizing American access to COVID-19 shots over the U.S. Uh, experts say that decision may be a way of preventing an American company from fulfilling lawful contracts with other countries. In the meantime, President-elect Joe Biden meeting with the NAACP today. Democrats say that they are not happy with his cabinet picks. This as he fills the cabinet uh, like California Attorney General Xavier Becerra, who would be the first Latino to have the Department of Health and Human Services. Members from the Congressional Black Caucus say that they'd like to recommend two people for Defense Secretary. Joey? And off to a cloudy start out there. You can see in our SkyTrack camera up in Beloit, Wisconsin. We're off to a quiet start, so no issues if you're going to be traveling out there for the morning commute. Temperatures today climb right around the 40 degree mark once again. We'll have a bit of a breeze develop late this morning, continuing throughout the afternoon. That's going to hold wind chills down into the low 30s, so definitely we'll need that extra layer heading out this morning. Keep it with you later on today. Temperatures, though, climbing to the low 50s for Wednesday, staying near the 50 degree mark for Thursday. And as I've been mentioning this morning, keeping an eye a system that could bring impacts for the upcoming weekend. Back to you. All right. Well, we're doing a little <laughs> holiday trivia this morning. Another uh, edition of Four City Faceoff coming up in just a few yeah, minutes. We'll see how much you know. <laughs>all right this morning we're going to put you to the test we're playing a four city face off this is holiday edition so hopefully you play at home with us yeah we're having a little fun trying yeah. to give you a little trivia as you head out the door this morning so we've got 97 zok's producer mj with us this morning mj you said you're kind of sick of all the leftovers you're ready for uh, some different holiday food right now 
Yeah, I think Christmas is uh, suiting me better right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> perfect. We need the we cookies, are, the sweeter stuff, I think. Yeah, you know? we're talking Christmas this morning, so we'll get you in the mood ready for all of that right now. Uh, we've right. got a first question, though. Whitney, why don't you start all us right. off? All right, St. Nicholas was also known as which of the following? The bringer of good harvest, lord of the sea, or watchful warden? Um, bringer of good harvest. It's actually Lord of the Sea. Lord of the Sea. I didn't know. Do you yeah. have an explanation for I this? I don't for okay. this. Sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry to put you I'll on the I'll look into it, though. But, yeah, this is some uh, trivia I found online. All right. So, which of the following traditions about Christmas dinners around the nation is true, around the world, really? So, we think of, in the America, you know, a lot of people eat ham, turkey. So, which of these is true around the world? In Japan, KFC is the traditional place to get your Christmas dinner. B... For the last five years, most Kansas families in Merriam, Kansas, actually have their Christmas dinner at Ikea or in some parts of Spain. If you're the odd number of guests attending your Christmas dinner, the odd man out destined to die the following year. What? Um, KFC. That is true. KFC. <laughs> so what made Who you, knew? That's, did you Journal? come up with these other no, answers? No, these, these were actually their answers online, Really? Too. Yeah. I was like, wow. <laughs> kind of, that last one's kind of dark. But yeah, KFC, Colonel, Colonel Sanders making his way into many Japanese homes around Hey, Christmas. did you find out, um, Producer MJ, who is playing, apparently, the Colonel in a, in a movie? I saw that. Who is it? It's Mario Lopez. Lopez. This isn't one of your trivia questions. I just didn't know if you knew. Mario Lopez is apparently playing him. It's, we're kind of surprised by that here. Amazing. What if you're needed? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, which of the best here? Which of the following topping the best selling Christmas gifts charts for the most over 20 years? Okay, so this is iPad, Elmo, or the Power Rangers? The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Is there a difference? <laughs> yes. Um, Elmo. That is correct. Um, two of three, MJ. It's pretty good, too. And Elmo, do you remember all the lines for Elmo? People were like going crazy. I think people got hurt during oh, that. Oh, I thought you meant like the lines he was saying the li to get the Elmo. The, yeah. the tickle me almost. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty big. All right, MJ, thanks for playing <laughs> with us this morning. Do you, do you remember those days, though, with tickle me Elmo? I do, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's funny that Elliot brought up that uh, IKEA. I've been to that one. Have you the, really? one in, uh, the one in Merriam, Kansas. That's hilarious. It's well, there you right go. right outside of Kansas City. Apparently, it's popular. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a very good store. I haven't eaten there, but I've gotten some of my furniture that's currently in my house right now from uh, that Ikea. So when you brought yeah. that up, I was like, look at you. Memories. <laughs> yeah, yes. good, good memories at that store. But heading out this morning, we're pretty quiet out there across the state line. Here's a live look up in Beloit, Wisconsin. We're under mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures under those cloudy skies have only fallen into the 30s. You can see we're sitting at 33 degrees right now and temperature wise across the region, similar to what you're seeing in Rockford, low 30s out there, 34 in Janesville, 31 in DeKalb, 30 in Galena and 29 in Monroe. Winds are out of the west and southwest, right about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So nothing too impactful uh, for your morning drive, but we're going to hold on to that cloud cover for a good portion of our day today. Even by lunchtime, we're still going to be holding on to mostly cloudy skies, but those winds are going to be increasing out of the southwest. That'll get us up to 40 degrees for a high today. Then by dinner, dinner time, temperatures back down into the low 30s. So temperatures by tomorrow, it's going to be the warmest day of the next seven days with a high of 50. Following that is a high of 49 on Thursday, but keeping an eye on the system, as I mentioned, could bring some impacts for the upcoming weekend. Back to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Joey. Well, keep watching your packages. That's a warning coming from police nationwide. They're now saying there's a surge of porch pirates right now. Now here's your Good Morning America first look. In this morning's GMA First Look, taking on pandemic porch pirates. Hey, get away. Carly Rollins in Charlottesville, Virginia, says she recently became a target, an alleged thief snatching her children's gifts moments after they were delivered on Black Friday. Whenever the gifts were taken, we just felt violated. Holidays are supposed to be a time of pulling together. This year, because of the pandemic, more people are shopping online. Nearly $20 billion spent between Black Friday and Cyber Monday alone. Purchases that will land outside people's homes. And in Washington County, Oregon, where reported thefts are on the rise, police have gone so far as to set up bait package stings, tracking thieves who pick up boxes with GPS sensors hidden inside. We'll make it look like an Amazon package and we'll put it on someone's porch and we'll just leave it there for a couple of weeks. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll show more of the new and innovative ways police and homeowners are keeping those holiday Grinches from stealing Christmas.
For the one who always puts their best face forward. Thoughtful gifts from designer brands for your special someone. Whatever you give, give with all your heart. How did Kellogg's combine crunchy oat clusters with a touch of honey, plump, juicy raisins, and tasty fiber into one delicious cereal? It took a lot of brand storming. Get it? Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch. Two scoops of delicious. Hello, how can I... Sore throat pain? Try new Vicks Cool Drops and Honey Lemon Chill. For a fast-acting rush of relief like you've never tasted in... Honey Lemon. Woo! Vicks Cool Drops. Now in Honey Lemon Chill. These both have the same amount of potassium. Only one of them is always ripe for the picking. V8, the original plant-powered drink. Veg up. Live from WTVO 17 and your home team, Eyewitness News in the Morning starts now. Happening right now at 6.30, Rockford has a new budget. The way police officers will pay for body cameras and the amount of money we'll be paying to own a home. And school districts around the state now looking to get students and staff back into the classroom. The test they hope could stop COVID from spreading at schools. A lot of people saying what this morning? KFC taking chicken to the big screen. The movie now debuting and the actor starring as the iconic Colonel. It's going to make you just go, what? Uh, first though, <laughs> it's another day of Project Elf 15. Maybe that's just how I Say feel what? right now. A Midway Village Sock Monkey, Nelson the Elf popping up across the state line. We're so excited about this. Uh, different small businesses across the area. So we've been featuring them right here in Eyewitness News every single day. And of course, we're at Arch Apothecary. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun with this. So they were so great to have us in. They gave uh, Nelson some new lashes, kind of yes. giving him a little bit of a facial there as well. Uh, again, we're just trying to help out local businesses. As you're shopping this month, maybe you have a couple more people that you sure. want to shop for. We want you to take it local and help everyone during this pandemic, of course. This is a look at them. This is in their store. It's a beautiful shop there. Uh, again, normally we have those businesses and people uh, from around the community in our studio talking about things that we can do. But this year, of course, a lot different. So we just want to help them out, give you some ideas as well. Yeah, and so th this is actually right on East State Street, right downtown, if you've yes. not up in there. So it's, it's a lot. It's kind of near nice. Taco Betty's in Carlisle. So just to give you an idea of where that yeah, is. Shopping local this year. Well, good morning <laughs> to you. Thanks for being with us. It is 632 right now. For those of you getting ready, staring at the clock, we're there to help you out with that. I'm Whitney Martin. And I'm Elliot Grandy. We're inching closer to the holiday season. We actually were telling you guys, too, we have this later in our show, a deadline if you want to get your gifts out in time uh, if you're shopping online. This is big. <laughs> this is big. I meant to look, and I'm going to look here uh, in just a second because I want to know if the deadline has changed with everything sure. happening with if COVID. It's, if it's earlier this year it because feels, so many people. It feels earlier, so I can tell you yeah. that in just 
just a second here. I want to bring in meteorologist Joy Marino, sending a lot of packages this year, like so many of us. At least I you don't have to worry about your dogs, though. You got yeah. them covered. Yeah, we got the dogs covered. We're actually going to be wrapping them, I think, either today or tomorrow because they're hidden in the closet right okay. now. It's, thankfully, they're sleeping. <laughs> yeah. so they cannot hear me say this. But I actually had the opportunity to meet Nelson this morning. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you told me a couple of days ago that he's sitting in Studio B. So I went in this morning. I was like, happy holidays, Nelson. Shake some hands. Yeah. Is it a hug? big, Joey? It was, like, it, was like, it was like an feet. Air 5. Yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, but I went in there. I was like, hi, Nelson. It's finally <laughs> nice to meet you. You know, he's going out to local stores all the time, which yeah. is really nice. And, you know, showcasing some of the local stuff that we have here. And that's where I'm probably going to do most of my shopping in the days to come is local. So thank you for Yeah, you've been doing a good job with that. We should note, too, that Nelson comes from a Midway Village Museum. So we yeah. appreciate them uh, letting <laughs> us borrow <laughs> Nelson, Putting too. their trust in us, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to hang out with Nelson for about and a month for or so. Elliot if, propping him up. Yeah, right. I was going to say, if we are shopping local today, getting out uh, to the store, what can we expect, Joey? It's going to feel a little bit chilly out there today, but that just leads to that warm-up that we've been talking about the past couple of days, which arrives tomorrow. Let's take a look at current conditions out there this morning. You can see on our SkyTrack camera over downtown Rockford, got a couple of people uh, traveling over the Jefferson Street Bridge this morning for the morning commute, but overall, it is a bit chilly out there with wind chills down into the 20s, so you're definitely going to want to make sure to add on an extra layer before heading out the door this morning. Temperatures right now 33 degrees. We have that wind chill in the upper 20s and that's going to be the range that they stay throughout the day today thanks to that breeze that develops heading into the afternoon. But temperatures right now upper 20s and low 30s. We have a light wind out of the west and southwest about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Right now mostly cloudy skies. They've stuck around with us for the overnight hours and we're going to hold on to cloud cover throughout the day today. But if you're driving out there not going to run into any issues. We have a bit of a breeze developing by the afternoon, but we're going to keep the lights green from the morning commute till the evening commute. So here's what we're watching. We're watching not only the warm up that's arriving by tomorrow, but a weekend system that we're going to keep an eye on may bring some impacts as we get into the weekend. But then following that system, that winter like chill does return heading into the start of our next work week. So let's take a look at our first born interactive radar sponsored by Rockford Auto Glass and more. We do have cloudy skies out there to start. It does feel a little bit on the chilly side. I'll have more on what to expect as we go throughout the rest of our Tuesday coming up in the forecast. Back to you. All right, well, we're going to get more on the vaccine uh, coming to the state line here in just a second. But first, we've learned Rockford residents not going to pay more when it comes to property taxes in the new year. Rockford City Council passing nearly $169 million budget for 2021. Without a property tax increase, though, the city going to lose out on collecting $2 million. So what's in this budget? What does it mean for you, right? That's the big question. Body camera is going to be leased, so that's for police officers. Four staff members are going to be hired for video management. The budget also officially approves giving every Rockford student that attends RPS a chance for a free tuition through NIU. So if you're, you know, have maybe questions about this, you can go to mystateline.com. But wanted to pull out some of those important things. There's also more for domestic violence as well. well. Speaking of the city of Rockford, some downtown business owners now say COVID really causing less people to visit their stores. No surprise there. On a typical weekday, this is Wired Cafe. Be busy during the lunch rush. The owner there, Crystal Douglas, saying COVID forcing many of our customers to work from home, so they're not coming to her shop. Douglas telling it, us that they're cutting staff, reducing hours, even providing carryout for customers, but it's not been enough. This last payroll emptied my checking account. So right now I'm waiting, I'm hoping, really praying that um, the loans come through for the city and the big grant, I applied for those. Douglas also urging state liners just to support small businesses any way you can right now. Well, this morning, small business owners in Belvedere can still apply for that coronavirus relief. It's up until the 15th, so a little bit more time. City leaders say that funding coming from the Illinois Cures Grant, so this is going to support local shops, restaurants, hit the hardest right now. Eligible businesses, though, you have to be in Belvedere and open no later than January 1st of this year. You also have to show a significant proof of financial loss. Not hard, though, for a lot of people right now. Each business can get up to $25,000. They're hanging on by their fingernails. And we hope very much that they will take the time to see if they qualify for these grants. And we will do the utmost to award every single penny of the, the money that we got. Now, there's a few ways businesses can apply. We put all the details on mystateline.com. 
Want to look at the case numbers right here around the state. Health officials reporting over 8,600 new COVID cases since Monday, uh, Sunday rather alone, bringing the Illinois case total to over 796,000. An additional 90 deaths also reported around the state, bringing the death toll to over 13,300 lives lost since this all started. Now, no additional deaths reported in our area over the last two days. Governor Pritzker is saying hospitalizations still 14% higher than they were in the spring. Taking extra precautions over the next few weeks, critical, he says, to keeping hospital beds open. These next four weeks may be the most crucial month of this entire pandemic. We quite literally have very limited leeway in our hospital systems to manage another surge. So mask up, keep your distance, and plan smaller, more intimate holidays this year. Well, the governor says tier three mitigation progress results will not be known for at least two more weeks around the area. A school is now finding a way to prevent virus outbreaks in the classroom. Yeah, this as teacher unions speaking out right now, still advocating for remote only learning. Here's those big headlines around Illinois this morning. The Chicago Teachers Union filing an injunction in an effort to stop plans to restart in-person learning. The union has been demanding Chicago public schools officials be forced to bargain over the reopening plans. According to CPS administrators, strict health measures have already been implemented there, but reps for the teachers union saying CPS has not kept its promises. Our entire school community deserves the utmost safety protocols. Um, back in the summertime, they told us that they were going to hire 400 custodians. Today, they've only hired 100. We've been told that the 25,000 classrooms would have error filtration systems. Um, as of today, that, has, that goal has not been met. CPS says some students are scheduled to return to in-person learning. That's coming up January 11th. Now, a school district in LaGrange right now saying that it's uh, tracking asymptomatic cases early before spreading to their schools. They're using a saliva-based testing for the past three months. Now, this is not FDA approved. The test, though, it's quick, it's cost-effective. So a school board member saying it's uh, behind the operation right now who has just turned an unused science center into a functioning lab where tests are being processed daily. You know, once we get the tubes with the saliva in them, you know, it's about a four-hour process before we have our first results on those samples. At this point, no teacher or student has gone to school the next morning without us knowing the results of the saliva they provided yesterday, which is a key part of the approach. So far, these tests, though, they've been contained as a post-Halloween outbreak in the three fifth-grade classrooms. And just last week, 11 tests out of the 3,000 detected possible asymptomatic cases. Well, if you were wondering what to do about the snow right now, maybe you're frustrated with how everything's being cleaned up. Maybe you think everyone's doing a great job. Illinois wants your feedback. Illinois Department of Transportation releasing its annual travel opinion survey. So if you've been telling everybody in your house what you think, this is your chance to be heard. IDOT asking, what are they doing well? What can they improve? They're looking at road conditions, ice and snow removal, maybe commuting habits, driving behaviors. You can fill all of this out anytime through the end of the year. We'd like to send your thoughts. We put a link for you, mystateline.com. You're being heard. I'm not quite ready for the shoveling season no, just yet. Me I want to scrape my windshields. All right. Well, new warning this morning on how to prevent fires while decorating for the holidays this year. So statistics show 40% of home decoration fires actually happen because items are just too close to a heat source. About 33% of home fires are started by candles. So here's what you need to do. Experts say candles should be extinguished before leaving home or going to bed seems simple. Uh, decorations should also be flame retardant and worn out. Uh, light strands should be replaced. Well, time now is 6.41. A major retailer this morning uh, assembling their, disassembling their catalog. The reason they're doing that. And at 7 on Fox 39, the man who broke the sound barrier. We'll tell you all about this. Play what he did and why he's being honored this morning. And the LH is spilling over here. <laughs> no mess, though. Hey, he, Joey. He broke the sound barrier at he some did. point over yeah. there. But we had a high yesterday of 40 degrees. We'll see similar temperatures this afternoon. Got more on that coming up in the forecast. You're watching Eyewitness News, your home team, with Whitney Martin, Elliot Grandia, and meteorologist Joey Molino.
your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. Hopefully you're having a comfortable start to your Tuesday. It's a cloudy start out there. Now that we're getting closer towards sunrise, we're starting to get some light show in the cloud cover out there this morning. Cloud cover was hard to budge overnight last night, so that's why temperatures are back down to the low 30s for the start of our day. 33 right now here in Rockford. We do have a westerly to southwesterly wind at 6 miles per hour. Wind chills back down into the upper 20s, but most of us are starting off in the low 30s. We're right now 30 degrees in Rochelle, 34 up in Janesville, 32 in Savannah, 30 in Galena, and 29 in Freeport. Most of us right now about a 5 to 10 mile per hour wind out of the west and southwest. That's going to be increasing as we get into the afternoon. Now, overall cloudy skies out there. We are dry, not seeing any flurries popping up on satellite and radar. You can just see how far northwest this cloud cover does extend. So we are going to be dealing with cloud cover for much of our day. See temperatures in the low 30s this morning, climbing to the low 40s by this afternoon. That breeze is going to keep wind chills down into the 20s. So maybe an extra layer or two will definitely be needed uh, heading out this morning. Keep it with you for the afternoon. Now looking at traveling out there, pretty smooth day of travel for you. We do have mostly cloudy skies, just that breeze to watch out for once we see that increase going into the afternoon. But overall, pretty quiet day lies ahead. You can see future cast showing the cloud cover still overhead as we get into the afternoon. There may be a few breaks in the clouds once we get into the late afternoon, but overall that cloud cover is going to give way to some sunshine as we head into the middle of the work week. 40 degrees for a high. We're going to have mostly cloudy skies and breezy conditions into the afternoon. As I mentioned, maybe a few breaks in the clouds, but overall cloud cover does stay strong into the overnight hours. We'll see sunshine for Wednesday and also Thursday leading up to a system that could bring some impacts for the upcoming weekend. Now, if you have a birthday coming up, go to mystateline.com. Rosie's Birthday Club, just a fabulous way we here at Eyewitness News celebrate birthdays and also a great organization. They give kids who can't afford birthday parties their own birthday parties. So that's why we love celebrating birthdays here at Eyewitness News. So just send us a name, birthday, and a photo. We'll celebrate can, with you on the morning I show. I cannot get over Wednesday. I mean, really the entire week. I gotta get outside. Oh, I thought you were talking about Rosie. Rosie's birthday no, club. I, I mean, like, that doesn't. I can't I'm looking, get over. So in the corner, I can still see your uh, your Did, forecast. Didn't Rosie's birthday up. club have like something substantial? Yeah, they're celebrating all their volunteers. They yeah. have a ton of volunteers, and so it's just it's been really cool to see. That's where I thought you were going. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get to consumer news right now. Don't expect an IKEA catalog in your mailbox next year after 70 years of printing them. Swedish furniture giant discontinuing the publication. The company reporting that at its peak in 2016, 200 million copies were given Jeez. out in 32 different languages. IKEA now just focusing, of course, more on digital. A lot of companies doing that. Stop printing. Do you I remember say, those catalogs, though? I, actually, I don't. No. I'm sure. My, my grandma sure used they to made it you know, through around. our home at one point, but uh, I never really looked at those. A smaller print also available as well. All right, one thing that is not canceled right now, cruises. 73% of cruise enthusiasts say that they would hit the high seas again in the not-too-distant future. This is from data coming by Cruise Line International Association. So numbers also showing 90% of cruises said they would take precautions like wearing a mask while on the boat. I know you were kind of looking at cruises. So I just saw cheap prices. I wasn't necessarily going on, uh, one. Going on one, but yeah. um, I, I feel like I would wait a couple years though because if you're on vacation, I don't feel like you don't want to wear a mask, you know, that kind of thing. So I'd wear a, a couple you're gonna years wait. off so you're it's gonna wait till it's safer back to for sure. Okay. All right, well, Walmart is spreading some holiday cheer with its drone light shows. Take a look at this. Pretty cool. Retail oh, giant cool. teaming up with the tech company Intel to stage the show's live in eight cities around the nation. Those events booked sold though, big solid actually, uh, but you can still watch them live streamed oh, from those home. Those are drones though, that's, that's crazy. That's so cool. Uh, the shows feature light spectacles from a thousand different drones. It actually reminds me of, uh, they did this at the Super Bowl yeah. uh, a couple years ago yeah. so, in halftime show. All right, well, KFC, I can't get over this. this Newest Colonel so Sanders. Look at this right now. They're actually partnering with a lifetime to debut a brand new short film, A Recipe for Seduction. This cannot be real. It cannot be real, you guys. I mean, he's a handsome version of, K of uh, Colonel Sanders. It's about 15 you know? minutes, yeah. but here's what we're just like, what? Uh, Mario Lopez is actually starring as the Colonel, so <laughs> this is full of mystery, suspense. Oh, There's yeah. a lot going into this, and it's going to actually uh, debut, I believe it's December 13th. On the Lifetime channel. You're watching. You're going to tune in? At noon. This, I got to figure out if this is real. I need to do some Googling. I Mario don't Lopez, it. you're really stepping up his acting game right now. All right, we've got your news in a flash uh, coming up in just a few minutes. I'm just thinking of all the people. <laughs>
Well, time right now is 6.51. Let's get right to your news in a flash this morning. Cherry Valley Police asking for help. Several cars shot up. Officers called the Valley Woods Drive about 11 o'clock after reports of shots fired. Luckily, nobody was hit. Left a mess, though, on a lot of cars out there, a lot of bullet holes. Well, this morning, Rockford police need your help finding suspects after a pair of homes broken into. Both incidents happening Sunday, the first on 5th Street and then at a nearby home on Buckby Street. Both homeowners there had a similar encounter, but police have not said if those cases are connected at this point. A new this morning, the first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine being given out in the UK. The first 800,000 doses of the vaccine going to nursing home workers, people over 60 who are either hospitalized or have outpatient appointments scheduled. Now, most going to have to wait until next year before there's enough to expand that program. Again, this is in the UK. Well, speaking of COVID, there's a, a new testing site, a free testing site set up in Boone County. It's going to be tomorrow. It'll be over at the North Boone Fire Protection District 3. It's right on West Grove Street in Poplar Grove. The site going to be open from 8 until 4. That's your news in a flash. Let's go now to Joey with a look at our forecast. And cloudy skies this morning. We'll stick around into the afternoon. We'll have a high near 40 degrees. Maybe a little bit breezy, but that breeze is going to put down our wind chills into the 20s and 30s. Tonight, we're going to see a low around 31 degrees. Cloud cover sticks around for much of it, but a little bit of clearing does make its way in as we get into tomorrow morning. More sunshine or the sunshine returns for our Wednesday. Unseasonably warm with a high of 50 degrees. Looking at a nice warm up the next couple of days. Back to you. All right, we're talking about the anniversary the 30th anniversary of an iconic <laughs> holiday a movie, Home Alone. We're going to tell you how Disney is also celebrating that anniversary. Good Tuesday morning. Uh, we're going to go to Michelle now, letting us know what's coming up on Fox 39 in just a few minutes. Hey, Michelle. And we have a lot of fun, including a cookie kit to show off on the GDS Holiday Gift Guide, so you're going to love that. Everything that's trending this morning, and I'm going to tell you why you want to take a pretend trip back in time later today. Oh, I like that. I love that you say you're going to like that. I think you're talking to us because we <laughs> right. love when you you're bring have food the cookies. in, Michelle. Yes. All right. So much going on in Fox 39. Join us. We're going to get to the latest on the vaccine, what's happening here in the state line. Rockford budget just passed, so what does it mean for you? We'll see you in Fox 89. Have a good morning.